This is the video replication file for Lecture Prep 6 from the St. Louis University course Introduction to GIS. In this lecture prep, we'll talk about changing the breaks used in thematic choropleth maps using ArcGIS. I want to start with the Missouri County boundary data, which are in the course data folder. We'll drag that data onto our map and then open up the layer properties by double clicking on the layer in the table of contents. To create the choropleth map, we'll select quantities under the show menu. This selection defaults to graduated colors, which is the characteristics we want. For the value, we'll select the already normalized pop 10 square miles variable. Notice the color ramp level that appears automatically. This is the seven class yellow green color ramp from Color Brewer. We want to switch it to the five class version, which matches the number of current data classes or breaks in our data. This is going to subtly change the color ramp that we're using. After we hit apply, the changes are made to the map itself. We can drag the window to the side and see the densest areas in the state are the St. Louis and Kansas City metro areas. Now we'll return to the layer properties and click on the classify button under classification. I want to start by changing our classification system from Jenks natural breaks to quantiles. This creates five evenly distributed categories for our data to be mapped with, where each category contains 20% of the observations. We click OK and then Apply, and then drag our window to the side again to see the changes. With these breaks, we get a better sense of the density in rural parts of the state, since we can now distinguish between the more populated rural areas and less populated ones. We can also see more urban areas now, not just St. Louis, but Jefferson City as well, and the urban area around Kansas City. We lose some nuance at the upper end of the scale, however, since we're not able to distinguish St. Louis and Kansas City from other cities in Missouri, like Joplin, Springfield, and Jeff City. Next, we'll return to the layer properties and click on the classify button under classification again. We'll switch to equal interval now we have five categories that are evenly divided, regardless of how many or few observations are in each category. This results in St. Louis and Kansas City dwarfing all other parts of Missouri. We lose nearly all the variation present in the first two maps. Finally, we'll go back to the layer properties and return to natural breaks. Now, however, we'll switch the number of classes from five to seven. When we make this change, we also want to update our color ramp to the seven category yellow green palette instead of the five category one. This gives us the best spectrum of color choices for this map. This increases the amount of variation we can illustrate visually on our map. We can see subtle differences, for example, between St. Louis and Kansas City, as well as between the metro areas and smaller urban areas like Jeff City, Springfield, and Joplin.